great way to begin any visit to New Orleans, our Super City Tour will bring the fun and mystery of this fascinating city to life. In only two hours, you'll discover just what makes the Crescent City so unique. On this tour, you'll learn the history of the world-famous French Quarter as you travel past Jackson Square, named for General Andrew Jackson after his historic victory at the Battle of New Orleans. You will also pass the Cabildo and the Presbyterian Museum and the beautiful St. Louis Cathedral. The famed Louisiana Purchase was signed in the Cabildo. It is interesting to note that much of the French Quarter's signature architecture is in fact Spanish. Several fires nearly destroyed the quarter and it was largely rebuilt under Spanish rule. Your experienced guide will tell you all about our strange customs before you arrive at the cemetery. You'll have a chance to stroll through one of these unusual cities of the dead. Don't forget your camera. Then it's on to City Park, originally the site of a large plantation. Its 1,500 acres make it one of the largest urban parks in America. If you have time later, be sure to visit the prestigious New Orleans Museum of Art. That's it straight ahead near the entrance to City Park. Tales of voodoo and piracy on Bayou St. John. The waterway used by our friend Jean Lafitte and his band of pirates as we head for the shores of Lake Pontchartrain to view the longest bridge over water in the world, the Lake Pontchartrain Causeway. We'll follow the tracks of the St. Charles Avenue streetcar, the oldest continuously operated passenger rail system in the world. Past Tulane and Loyola University and the home of former kings and queens of Mardi Gras and stately mansions of the exclusive Garden District. St. Charles Avenue is also the traditional Mardi Gras parade route. Look up and chances are you'll see that our live oaks bear more than acorns. We'll pass by the National World War II Museum and the Ogden Museum of Southern Art. And by the way, as we cross busy Canal Street, take a look at the median. Here it's called a neutral ground because it originally divided the French settlers from the upstart Americans. 